everybody, welcome back to Taz's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One. Today I'm super excited because we're gonna present a brand new style release by Aesthetica Summer 2021. This is one of four new styles coming out by that brand. This one is Verona in the color Caramel Kiss RT4. Lots to know about this style coming up. This wig style was sent to me by Wig Studio One for this first look review today. Be sure to check it out at Wig Studio One. I will attach all of the links below this video. If you expand the description box, locate the link, you can go out and explore the pricing, all of the different colors. If you still have questions for us, don't hesitate to reach out to support at Wig Studio One or from any product page on the website. You can scroll down, hit the little help button and be connected with a live chat. So Verona is a long beach wave style with a fringe bang. wonder if these wig brands ever sneak into each other's camps to see what they're going to come out with next. <laughs> it just seems like we have seen a run on this, uh, this long beach wave style with fringe lately. Uh, there was Henry Margu's Willow that came out earlier this year. We have Tressalore's uh, California Beach Waves. They look so much alike and I think Verona looks very much like those in terms of being a nice choppy beach wave style with a manageable fringe. So like I said, this is one of four new styles that are coming out by Aesthetica for summer 2021. Uh, those styles are Brady, which is uh, one of the short kind of cropped pixie styles. And then we have Lachlan, which is a long layered style. I can't wait to see that one. I think it looks like a maybe a little bit of a longer or different layered orchid. Uh, which is very popular by Aesthetica. Um, there's one coming out called Hudson, which is a long straight bob. Absolutely beautiful. And then of course, here is the Verona. Let's talk about this color first. I'm so happy to be able to present uh, a brunette. I think this is an amazing color by Aesthetica and uh, one of my favorite brunettes of all of the brands. So it starts with a medium golden brown. It's a rich, rich golden brown. It just has such a rich, luscious uh, feeling to it. And then this is heavily highlighted with an amber gold blonde, like a medium amber gold blonde, a butterscotch type color. You're gonna see two types of highlights. So there's some finer highlights of that amber gold blonde, well blended throughout, but what really stands out on this color are the chunkier, more bold and dramatic highlight pattern. This is overall a very warm color. So this is the RT4, which means it has a medium to dark brown root. I love the RT4 on this Caramel Kiss color because I feel like when you're using a bold highlight pattern, it can become very stripey if that's ran clear up to the root. And it looks like you just had maybe a fresh highlight done and you're it just gonna take a couple days to grow out. Um, but with this root four, I think it changes it a little bit. It's a, it's more multi-tonal, it's more dimensional, it has more depth to it. Plus, it helps ameliorate some of that broad, uh, bold striping on this color. So let's check out the layering on this style because the layering makes the style just pop. It defines the style. And I bet you're wishing that I would have brought this directly out of the box and did an application in front of you. Well, you're in luck because I did that. <laughs> I did that yesterday when I received this in the mail. So I'm gonna put up a clip here um, of me bringing this out of the box and applying it. So if you've seen the Aesthetica packaging before, uh, nothing new with the packaging. Um, they kind of have a different color based on what collection it's coming from. This is the High Society collection by uh, Aesthetica, one of their highest quality, mo the best features that they can bring to their wig styles. So you'll see that it's in a little bit of a blue box there, um, but it's packaged very well with nets and all of the protection for the wig style.
after application, you'll see that those front pieces just want to swoop right into the face. That is the first thing that I notice about this style. Um, the bang area is, is very straight and it did want to kind of flop in the face. Now this, and like all wig styles like this, takes a little bit of work just to keep them out of the face. You can use the heat from your hands just to kind of continue to swoop away and that will help to train the wig over time. Now one thing I do always is I get in there and I swirl around. Um, it makes no sense to try to style it away from the face or train it in any capacity until you have loosened the fibers up from the cap. So get in there with your fingers, swirl around at the base, swirl around on that lace front. What you're going to do is you're going to set free the motion of these fibers. It's going to have a much more natural look and it's going to be much easier to style. Okay, so after I unboxed this style yesterday and did a little short clip of that on camera, I just hung it upside down on a rope hook. Um, I didn't spray it down. I didn't do anything to it. And then before the review today, I went ahead and applied it and just swept the bang area out of my face. I think it's going to take a lot more training than that, but um, that is a good start. And it seems to be fairly responsive to that. So again, we have that eight inch bang here at the front. It's a nice fringe. Um, eight inches is just short enough that it um, it can accent the face shape and frame the face um, any longer and it starts to pull the face down a little bit. Um, so I think this is a very flattering front layer on this design. In the back, it's about 20 inches from the crown to the tip of the hair. So it is a nice long style. There's no doubt about the identity on this one. And again, it does feature that lace front and full single monofilament top. I have to remark on this lace front because it just looks invisible against my skin tone. The knots are very fine. Even with this darker root, uh, they do take a little bit of highlight right up to that hairline, which is gonna present a nice natural look. Actually, my biological uh, widow's peak there is kind of peeking through and you can't really tell it just like looks like a part of the hairline doesn't it um, it's a very nice blend match on that so a beautiful lace front overall it's not too thickly threaded and that's the same with this monofilament top now a full monofilament top is going to do two things it's going to allow each of the hair to kind of move independently of one another which always gives a nice natural look but it's also going to give you the illusion of scalp, no matter how you want to part it from the top. And this one is beautiful. It's not too thickly threaded. You can definitely see through to the illusion of scalp. I think these monofilament and lace features are just absolutely exquisite on this one. And based on Verona's long length and kind of a lush density here, it weighs just over five ounces, which is very typical of a long style like this. Each one of these fibers is extremely baby fine, kind of a dry, silky texture. If you're familiar with the Aesthetica fiber, uh, this feels very much typical Aesthetica. It's a very nice feeling fiber and it has beautiful movement. Describing the density, I always like to say it's a lush density, even though it's been taken down a little bit on the ends because of this beachy wave texture. But let's talk permatease. So there is a lot of permatease in this cap. Um, you're going to find permatease all throughout the midsection around that monofilament at the crown back and very heavy here at the nape. Um, now this permatease I feel serves a really good purpose for keeping uh, the height on this style. A lot of times you get a longer style like this. If you don't have this permatease to support that uh, crown and top, it's just going to fall flat and that's going to restrict the movement. It's going to interfere with the style. If you know Aesthetica, they absolutely have probably the, the sexiest, the most romantic profile in their styles, meaning that you've got a little bit of bump at the crown. It's kind of slim right here through the ear tab, um, but there's enough lift there, not to make it super like a uh, pageant girl glamorous, like you're overdone, but just enough to keep it lifted and uh, give you a nice coquettish profile. 
The curl pattern, again, is just that very shattered, broken spiral that's been taken down, thinned on the ends. It gives it that beautiful, casual, bohemian beach wave. And again, the length and density give it a nice, a nice smooth movement. Inside, look at the cap for Aesthetica's Verona. There's that temple to temple extended lace front, extends back into the ear tab for a seamless look. Nicely contoured, nice fine knots. A beautiful single monofilament top all the way around. It's very generous. A closed ear tab, lots of wefting. An open extended nape with the clasp or the hook type adjusters. You'll notice I had to crisscross these adjusters just to get um, a good fit for this review. Um, it's still not secure even doing this. The cap runs very large and I will have to use additional security if I want to wear this out. So you watch me pull this out of the box and make application with it and then all I did was just continue to move the bangs out of the face. So this is directly out of the box, brand new. Um, within just a few minutes, you can very much achieve what you see here. Let's try with glasses before we start styling. Now these glasses fit beautifully between the ear and the ear tab, although there is considerable permatease there. So if your glasses arms are a little thicker, you may need to slip them under a weft. So let's get down to some styling for Verona. With this length and volume and layering, I think it will just be a dream and you could create lots of different looks from this style. I really appreciate you joining me today. Be sure to check out this style at Wig Studio One in the links below. We'll see you next time on Taz's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One.